Over 650 flat buyers in Samruddhi complex in Karjat have filed an FIR against their builder Puddar developers. Till now, one person has been arrested in the case. So what exactly prompted the buyers to take this step? Ashwini Priyolkar gets this ground report. This is Samruddhi complex in Garpoli village, which is a part of Karjat Taluka. There are 16 housing societies in this complex, out of which 688 members belonging to eight societies here are alleging that their builder, Podar Developers, has flouted several norms during the construction of this massive project. All of which has put their legal occupancy at stake. On the other hand, the developer Rohit Podar has strongly denied these allegations, claiming that everything is in order. From 2011 to 2014, builder has given possession of flats without OC. He told when the project is completed, I will hand over the OC and completion certificate to the society. But now we are at the end of 2016 and still we have not received occupation certificate. 2009, we finished occupation around 12, 13 and every single flat has got an occupation certificate certified by the architect and and given by the Gram Panchayat. In the flat agreement, the builder had written that the MRTP section 45 under the uh, collector has commission certificate from the collector. But actually, he has given the reference number of the non-agriculture certificate. So, in the case of order and sanction plan, we approached the ADTP and the collector, we, 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 we gave, gave our plans in and the ADTP passed the plan for building, building layout and the collector gave us a zone change. And as per the law of the DC rule, that was all that was required for us to commence construction. We have a lot of problems with water. The water that we need to get from the building, we are getting from the builder and we are selling it. This is the biggest violation. जो इरिगेशन डिपार्टमेंट के रूल्स कहते हैं, ये खुद कलेक्टर साहिबा ने भी उनको इस बारे में वार्निंग भी दी है। The water is basically from the government, right? So the the water was passed by the irrigation department by the chief engineer, and we basically been paying monies to them every year to use the water supply. Exorbitant rate means whatever whatever price we get, whatever money we have to pay the 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 authorities for water, we're dividing it by the number of residents on the site. So if, the, if the 100 rupees has to be paid totally per year, we divide that by the total number of flats in the site, and, and we, ask them, we ask them to pay that money. So I mean, it's, it's, it's an arithmetic calculation. This is, the, this is the charge from the irrigation department or whichever the authority is. As things stand, both sides are sticking to their side of the story. The residents have filed a first information report against the developer, and the police have arrested the general manager of the project. The issue is now being decided by the courts, with a hearing slated to take place this week. Cases like these highlight why it is critical that regulatory authority like the RERA is set up and made to function as soon as possible so that there is transparency in the entire process and both developers and home buyers can breathe easy knowing that everything is done the right way. In Mumbai, with camera person Harneet Singh, Ashwini Priyorkar, NDTV.